On August 13th, 2013 at 8.50 p.m., I had a major realization that changed my life. Thank you to the atheist community here on YouTube. At least it was a community back then anyway. Then it got pretty fractured, but uh, at the time it was really helpful to me. Changed my life. I went from thinking that there was some God sitting there judging what I was doing, even though I, I had mentally, you know, uh, 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 logically, I, I was already kind of an atheist at that point, but, you know, and had been for years, but there was always these leftovers from my upbringing, from my Christian upbringing. And uh, once I didn't think that there was some the universe or God or whatever, once I didn't think that that there's something judging everything that I'm doing, once I realized that I'm not communicating with the universe, I'm just communicating with myself and that and therefore I can take ownership of myself, um, yeah, that changed my life. Um, some of the ways that I was brought up uh, Christian, some of the the Sunday schools that I went to as a kid taught some really messed up things. Uh, things like, oh, to even think something sinful is a sin. And remember, too, I, I, well, maybe, well, whether you knew this or not, I'll just say it again. You know, the whole Jesus thing never made any sense to me. So, you know, I, uh, I never, I never really got, there wasn't a re really a way that made any sense to, you know, repent or to, you know, for your sins. There was no way to, to be really truly forgiven for for sins, you know that concept didn't make sense. So I just revolved my life around trying not to sin, trying to be the the best person I could. And you know, over the years, the things that I would obsess on to try to uh, not offend people and to try to be a good person uh, became kind of worse and worse as time went went on. You know. Um, before that realization and on August 13th, 2013 at 8.50 p.m., I, I would, you know, when I'd be out in public or just out and about w around people, I would have all these, I guess you could call them like autistic lists, lists of things not to do when, it, when around uh, someone of this demographic or this demographic or that demographic. Little things like, uh, you know, don't look in this direction when you say this word. You know, it's, it's just lots of trivial things. Some serious things, too. Things that, you know, maybe we should be paying attention to, but just hundreds and hundreds of little bitty things. Don't do this when you're around someone of this demographic. And it eventually messed up my ability to have, just to have any sort of reasonable... Uh, communication with people. It was really messing me up. And coming out of that, I realized, well, I should just be myself and just generally try to treat people decently. And if I happen to offend someone and they tell me, like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And it could be left there, you know, and then not repeat that exact thing again. But not build up these all these hundreds of hundreds of 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 uh, lists that are hundreds of entries long and and have multiple of those when I'm around people, you know, a group of people. You know, man, I was a nervous wreck when I'd be around a group of people. Couldn't handle it. Um, I gotta talk about being nervous. Um. But, you know, over the years, over the past few years, I've noticed, and, and many people have noticed this, I'll say especially from the intersectionality side of, of uh, the left, people have been pushing that everyone should have, essentially have these autistic lists and continually trying to think about, oh, what... What other what these people of these demographics may go through, and don't treat them in a way that that could be interpreted as a microaggression, and you know really be. So it's essentially telling people to assume things about someone because they have they they are a, a particular demographic, 
but at the same time, don't assume and ask questions instead. And it's just like, what before I even get to, to say hi to someone, I should be thinking about all this stuff. And then, I mean, we're expected to, I mean, we're going to be rude and ask them personal questions so we don't offend them. That doesn't make sense. Having one of the first things you say to someone is asking them personal questions is likely to offend them more than if you made some sort of... If you didn't assume correctly about their demographic. I don't know. It's just damned if you do, damned if you don't. Create, you know, be nervous. The, the, the main message is be nervous about having any sort of interaction with people. I think that's a terrible message. I think it's terrible. Um... You know, I, I certainly don't want to go back to creating autistic lists and messing up my ability to communicate with people. Now, maybe there's some people out there who need who need that kind of guidance. They need a set of lists. They need a a an ideology to uh, tell them how to treat people. You know, and if it works for you, fine. But just don't smear it in my face. Okay, don't expect me to do it too. I mean, in some ways, it seems like the people who push for that the most, it's like the only thing they want people to, to be able to talk about is intersectionality. You know, because if you talk about something else, that could offend people. But if you offend people by talking about intersectionality, that's okay. It's okay to offend, it's okay, especially if it's the majority demographic, it's okay to offend the majority demographic. That's totally fine. Just don't, dem just don't, just don't offend anyone who is uh, higher up on the progressive stack, right? It just no. I I don't want I don't want something that acts like a religion in my life again. No, the answer is no. Period. Okay, I generally try to be considerate of people. That's just in my nature to try to be considerate of people. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not someone that goes out of my way trying to offend people. That's that's just not my thing. So you know, if you really, th if if for you, you need to have sets of rules in order to treat people decently, you know, and it works for you, fine. As I said earlier, fine. Just don't smear it in my face. Don't tell me that's what I need to do too. Just saying.